All right. We got that sweet Amano art going on in the uh, the break screen. We're ready to roll. I just realized my starting sin screen isn't uh, fixed yet. It's a very dramatic uh, opener, too. Let me fix my break screen before I forget, though. Or, starting sin screen, rather. That thing. Studio mode is a gift. I'll tell you what. That should be good. Studio mode disengage. Those production values coming through. Bonus mode. Without loading data. Here's what this is. East area. Just talking about RAM stuff. That's pretty cool. I'm guessing it doesn't. Uh, maybe it's trying to like protect against spoilers or something. That's kind of cool. It's got art. Oh wow! Like storyboards for the opening CG. What? I actually didn't watch the opening CG. I've seen the Final Fantasy V one before because I think I played it. For, so I had the Final Fantasy anthology when I was young. And I think a friend might have had it. Um, we played a bunch of Final Fantasy V for some reason, but not really that much Final Fantasy VI. Um, I think it might have been like we were waiting to play six until we'd played five or something, and then we just never finished five, so it's like kind of whatever. Um, that's pretty neat. I wonder. So I want to see if this. Magitech Empire. Is this is this the opening CG? Because if I can just watch it here, that'd be kind of nice. I think it is nice. All right, let's watch this then before we get started.
Nice. I like that as like a prologue, basically. And I think it's like this and Final Fantasy V both have these like CGs that they got for this uh, anthology collection. And I really like them. Like, I think it's cool to see um, these kind of more, uh, you know, like graphically. I mean, obviously, it's still like quite dated. It was, it was very old CG, but like compared to the games themselves, it's still like a, a very different level of graphical fidelity. And I think like having these prologues and epilogues um, in that style is really interesting because it kind of like it gives you enough to sort of like spark your imagination in a way right like at the end of the day you're still gonna be playing through the game and seeing this these pixel arts like this uh this dude kind of chilling there on, on the screen here right um he's taking a nap um so like this is this is still how you really experience the game but i think that those cgs really kind of help you like kickstart your imagination and like engage you and think like you know this is the representation that i'm seeing is this pixel art but like helping it to bridge that gap into evoking in your in your mind um, the real richness of the world. Um, I just think that's really cool. And like a, a nice thing that they added, like obviously the world is still rich and you can still imagine it even without them as people did, you know, before these, these collection came out. But um, I, I think it's a cool, it's a cool little bit of supplemental things. And it's an interesting thing for them to see as an opportunity when re-releasing these games. Anyway, let's get into it. We only got like an hour before I gotta call it quits, but I think we can probably make some good progress. We can go through the uh, the intro, which I have played. I've played like maybe five or six hours of this game. Oh, we got lore. Magic simply ceased to be. I would simply not have magic anymore. I did like even just watching the intro though really made me remember how cool the world is in this game. Um, it feels in a lot of ways kind of like Final Fantasy 7 turned inside out. I feel like Final Fantasy 7 is about like a world that is like technologized magic in a lot of ways and then like magic kind of rebelling against it um, or like re-emerging um, or like the world itself kind of like buckling under that. Um, and yeah, this is about, I guess like a, a world without magic having magic kind of reborn into it. Um, after it's tried to sort of like develop past it. But it still has some of that like kind of steampunky feels for it. Can it be? This is well translated. It's also funny that the uh, the CG had some really weird English in its uh its text. Um when it was it was giving the order to attack uh Narsh. I also really liked in the intro CG that they played a uh, Terra's theme and then they like played a, a different arrangement of it, like a much more military arrangement towards the end. I thought that was a very nice touch. Oh, Biggs and Wedge. This is where they get their start. This is a cool way to do a tutorial as well, um, by putting you in like you know this super suit basically, so you can just kind of mow down some enemies and but just get a feel for how the battle system works, like just taking turns and doing the real basic stuff. Oh yeah, now we gotta get the the in-game credits. We got the CG credits, but now I gotta get the proper credits. I also liked in the intro cinematic, th like seeing these uh, these suits making me think about it, but like how uh, how imposing they made the Magitek armor look. One thing that's always been kind of a bummer to me in um, Final Fantasy 14 is like it kind of has a little bit of the, the shonen problem of like, you know, infinite scaling kind of making old uh, enemies just feel like totally irrelevant in their power um, and I feel like Magitek armor really suffered from that like it was nice that the 
in uh, at the end of Realm Reborn when you're fighting through the Praetorium and like there's Magitek armor and it's kind of like its own little like you know mini bosses or whatever like it's it's a, a credible threat uh, and now it feels like it's just kind of like an afterthought it's like oh yeah you know there's some Magitek armor you just take care of them so I don't know just bums me out a little bit but I think that's just kind of the nature of any long running game as a service kind of thing like you need new stuff and uh, you know the old stuff's gotta make way but it's too bad I do look forward to just duffing all of the uh, the shadow interactions and just having him freaking abandon me early in the game or whatever. It's like you always have to keep up and find him to, to keep recruiting him back to you, right? So that he'll, uh, he'll keep joining you. Love to put my ace in the hole at risk. We can walk around. We can't go left to right. It's a one way street, baby. We can't go over here though, very limitedly. Oh no, we gotta fight a dog. Heels Badman. Lobo. You got it. Magi Tech. Got him. Oh, it's still not Gil in this game. I was wondering about that. It's a GP here. Still in the in the land of GP. Hey, what's up here then? Not even Narcissus safe. This does look quite a bit slick slicker than uh, Final Fantasy V already though. Give me some more. There's a bit of variety here. Oh, so she gets a lot more Magitek attacks, and then she, I guess, also has regular ass magic. That's cool. Oh, Magitek doesn't take, uh. doesn't take MP, crucially. Yeah, Biggs and Wedge, they learned a lot about. from that fight. It was a worthy enemy. We really had to push our limits. I understand why we leveled up. So, wait, could we not have kept going up here? We can. Oh, not really. Jabated. Big clunky armor. <laughs> Your town's getting invaded and the invaders are just like clomping around being dinguses. Like wait, why aren't they going for the strategically valuable uh what do you call it? Points. It's like, they just seem confused. Exploring. I'm gonna say that this is what they get for making Terra take point. You know, they uh, they put the person with no free will in charge, and they're gonna get jerked around a little bit. That's just that's just facts of life. I'm sorry to say. But yeah, I remember I remember a little bit of like the early to early mid game of this uh, this game, but not honestly a lot. Like I don't remember who finds Terra. I think it's Celis. Not positive. And just in general, I don't remember kind of much of anything that goes on. I should check out the menus once I uh, am out and about in the world again. They might not make a lot of the menu available to me since I'm kind of in the, the intro, but I'm curious what's available. And for that matter, I kind of want to see if, if, if there is stuff that I can look at in the menus, if I can peek at Biggs and Wedge's stats and stuff like that, if they did anything cool with them. Tonics, still the uh, the currency. We haven't moved to potions yet either. Maybe seven really was kind of the a lot of the modern stuff. Steeples. Oh yeah, menu menu time. What's going on? Let's take a look in here. Just have the one tonic that we found. We didn't bring anything. Yeah, no equipment. The empire is stingy, huh?
lore rage dance. We got a lot of different uh sword tech. I wonder what that is. Asperus? No. Uh what about these guys? No skills, such. Can we not check their status either? Oh we can, okay. They can fight and they can item. She knows magic. Looks like a pretty similar stat spread to five. Battle power, vigor, stamina, magic power. All pretty familiar looking. Magic block, I think, is a new stat though. That's kinda neat. Oh, she even has some of it. I was just gonna say it probably is hard to get around or hard to come by. Um I guess we have taken a couple hits. Eh, whatever. They're mooks. Relics. I think I remember hearing about relics. I think they're like optional rule bending things, which sounds really cool if it's true. I would love to find some of those Instagram the game rules just for funsies. Seems like a nice flexible stuff. Oh, you can change the magic order? Hmm. That's pretty sweet. Change the window background. Oh yeah, we're in real RPG Maker territory now. I feel like this is kind of where RPG Maker really like took off from. It feels like a lot of the stuff that they end up with is, is kind of birthed from this this era and this engine. Pretty strong my feeling. Oh yeah, you can play multiplayer, I forgot. You can have different people control some of the characters. I think that was a thing in 5 as well, which is part of why uh, my friend and I played a lot of 5 together, is because we could like each take different party members and play that way. Oh, nice, we can change our re-equip strategy. The curse of, uh, of Hex Ring and Thornlet can be broken. Let's go! Uh... Yeah, memory, all these cursor options. Yeah, they, there's a lot of just, like, polish that seems like it's happening here, which maybe explains why the battle system looks like... Or, the, like, the guts of the battle system maybe didn't get touched as much if they were focusing more on presentation. Got him trapped. I don't know if trapping is really a thing that's going to make a difference here. The problem has not been that they've been escaping. Oh, but this is a great move for them to d demonstrate pincer attacks. This is a thing, uh, Final Fantasy VII did this too. When you, uh, you have to go fight the, the soldiers on the bridge and they come at you from both directions, they, they use that as a chance to teach you about, uh, back attack and, uh, what do you call it? Uh, and, and pincer attacks. Which I think was also a thing in, uh, Four, or in, uh, in seven. I don't remember if there's pincers. Th it might be, there might not be, honestly, because I think, um, like the camera angle just doesn't support it as, as well, uh, since it's kind of like a more dynamic camera, so it's harder to get the party and the enemy party and the other enemy party all in, uh, in the shot together as cleanly. Oh, we can climb stairs. Hey, what are these? Do they got pigs? Piggly wigglies? Or are these just dogs from the front? Oh, vo vo mammoth. It might look like a mammoth, but don't be fooled. It's a vo mammoth. We can booty blast him. Give him the biz. It's kind of fucked up that they just start this game out by making you fucking complicit with the empire. skip turns with the uh, circle yet? Doesn't look like it. We got the same row and defend commands from, uh... What do you call it? Oh, from 5. So yeah, it feels, it feels like the, the battle system is surprisingly intact. I guess 4 and 5 was a somewhat small delta? Uh, what level are we all for? So we probably started at level 1 then. Which is interesting. I think starting level is always like a kind of fun thing you can mess around with. Um, I don't know. I feel like if you have characters with a higher starting level, it kind of implies that they are more experienced in the world. Which, to be fair, these are characters who I think 
don't have that much experience in the world. Um, so, it makes sense. But it's, it's one of those things where I'm always curious, like, was this intentional? Did they start them at level 1 because they really thought that that was uh, a representation of their, their true experience? Or was it just like, let's learn about save points. I don't know. A sleeping bag. So I guess sleeping bag tents have become sleeping bags and cottages have probably become tents. Had to be found saving. That's kind of cool. I feel like by this point, it's, it's kind of like late in the franchise to be tutorializing saves, but this is also kind of when they were getting more on the map, so maybe it makes sense that they would, uh, they try to make things a little bit more accessible since that had not been a particularly strong suit of, uh, of the franchise up till now, in my opinion. I can't go through there. It is cool though that they built a like custom sprite size basically for this. I wonder if they reuse big sprites like this later in the game or not. Bonk. That should be impressive either way. Where are at? I think Bioblast is just the the juice, right? We get area of effect. Let's go. I should probably try out these other abilities though, just because it seems like a cool thing to have. Oh wait, did they live? They did, dang. I guess I'll get to try stuff out anyway. probably picked up a bunch of extra um, HP from leveling up. Is this like a drain? It's kind of cool. Oh, it's like a delete. That's right. I forget that expert means that in these old games. I don't think I can use Magitek outside of battle, so I might as well take advantage of it where I can. Oh, never mind. Get wrecked. I guess Bioblaster probably does little damage, but the guards and dogs just have very little HP, so... Didn't matter in those cases. These guys are really protective of this thing that, from all accounts, is just trouble up and down. Oh, we got dialogue in battle? Got dialogue teaching us about tactics. Uh oh. Lightning beating enemy. Uh, don't attack the shell. Okay. And I guess don't use light. Don't use lightning magic. Oh no, it's gonna auto target the shell, isn't it? I fucked up. Probably supposed to defend. Oh, so this, yeah. The classic Hironobu Sakaguchi enemy that you're supposed to not attack during a certain period. Whoa. I don't have Phoenix Dance, right? So yeah. She's just done, so. See you, Terry. It's nice knowing you. They did give you a nice lead time if you know what to look for, but. I was, uh, I was not paying attention. I was, I was demonstrating. I was limit testing. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I guess we could have survived that if we'd been healing people. I guess it's also like not having a, a designated don't attack time is a good way to 
let people have a breather to heal. Although I feel like if people are really new, they might just like be mashing on, on attack and get bonked by its, uh, its counters. It's tough to say, honestly. This is going slower because we're we're short of person. Oh no! Please let me get this attack out. Oh no! We goofed, team. Oh wait, no, it did like a billion damage. I don't think it goes through all great because it was like hundreds of damage. Not. Oh wait, no, it was seventy damage. It's like was it seven hundred damage? That seems excessive. A cool bit of tech though, right? Like they have a uh, an enemy that can show up and then disappear. He kind of reminds me of the uh, what do you call it? Oh, the page monsters from the library in Final Fantasy V. Oh shit! And Tara was supposed to be their ringer, and she just ends up napping the whole fight. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. Caves are not very friendly to operate Magitek in. The Espa. So Welk was some kind of Esper Sentinel. Be alive again. That's nice of them. Graphics are looking fresh. This is nice. I'm curious how this will look in the pixel remasters because I feel like it already kind of looks the way that it should. Like, I don't know how much. I mean, all the like, Final Fantasy games I think kind of look the way that they should, but like, I don't even know if there's that much you can really like layer on top of this to like improve it, even in generous air quotes. Oh, we're up. got found and not murdered, which is uh, surprising. Got the headaches. Oh, we got terrorist theme plan. Oh, yeah. This guy doesn't look that old. Maybe like a middle-aged man. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that acting. Look at that animation. We got head movements. We got arms that are like distinctly out of the body and not just kind of like, you know, attached. Gotta keep that. Keep all the canon names in here. I got magic. I guess maybe they cut her a break because she had the slave crown on, so they weren't just like murdering her. Although I'm sure there's got to be plenty of people who are not happy about her. Oh yeah. E.g. the dogs and guards. Oh, but they just know. The old men's it's like, I'm taking her.
Yeah, they never named the Empire, right? It's just the Empire? They also have, like, magic powers and stuff? Hang on. No, but I didn't, I didn't get the Esper. I didn't recognize that as, like, an iconic FF summon either, so I don't know what it was. Mystery summon. On my own now. Get the repo man. How much MP do I have? Should I just be zapping him? I mean, I guess I just one-shot him, so probably I don't need to. I don't need to give him the zaps. I can save my MP for heals, I guess, because I have like <laughs> a tonic or something. Wow, the parting shot. Rude. Alright, we got like. Spinning and dancing now for victories. The technology. We're out there living our best lives. Well, give me some treasure in here. I want to explore. My Final Fantasy V brain is still extremely on, I feel like. I think I walked past the save point on accident. I did. Scold me, I'm saving. I'm doing this for your good. I should have let uh, Asmo know that I was streaming this. I'll let him know next time. Ranch. Yeah, so I need to like heal myself after this fight, I guess. The damage is adding up. Ooh, a weapon I have too. Did I just get like a knife from the guy? Oh, so this time I didn't watch out of my guess. Curious. Tara's leveling up. Look at her go. I do see treasure up there. We're doing it. So we have 29 MP, which is like, you know, geese. This is, uh, this reminds me a lot of the, uh, the early game of Final Fantasy IV, actually, where you have magic users who just don't have MP as a... Phoenix down with one character in your party is pretty funny. Um, but you have characters who use magic, but don't have MP yet because they're low level. A uh, sleeping bag is quite useful. Speaking of getting my MP back. Um... But yeah, like low level magic users who like gain a bunch of MP each level, and so it's kind of weird starting out to be like, all right, oh, can I use a? Uh, I guess I can probably use magic on all of them. I don't think it's worth it at this point, but I'll I'll try it out just to see what it looks like. I also haven't cast any magic yet, which I should definitely do just for for science. I'll magic the next repo man. I'll fire him. Only getting XP and. Uh, and gold. RIP job points. We barely knew you. How can I not target them all? Interesting. Or I have to do it through a mechanism I don't understand yet. Or maybe AoE is a different spell type? Not sure. It's been a long time since I played this game. And I don't think I thought this hard about it when I did. <laughs> oh, my brain is in try hard mode. Dance, Terra, dance. I'm just escaping through the caves. Well, we're not escaping through the caves. It was good while it lasted. Well, escaping through holes in caves.
<laughs> We're out of here. Care to sleep? That's a pretty good transliteration of his uh, his laugh, I guess. They removed the life, or just was it not in that scene? I don't remember. In the anthology. I like the use of the battle menu, or the battle screen as a way of doing cutscenes as well. Oh, this is probably what Biggs and Wedge were talking about. Of like, oh, I hear that you wiped out our own, uh, our own soldiers with this with this magic. Which I guess yeah means that Kepka wiped out his own soldiers because she obviously has no free will at this point. I have to. To make this, uh, I have to progress this text. Oh, the other members of the entire. Sound of one arm waving. She's remembering. Oh, Locke's the old man's friend. <laughs> Got very big parts vibes. The uh, the adventurer main character. I didn't realize that all the characters got their own themes. I'm assuming that this is like Locke's theme. But then obviously, Terra's theme is very iconic. I know Cyan has a theme. Oh, he's kind of got the uh, the Ezreal toot going on here. I'm not a thief. I'm a treasure hunter. It's a tough guy with a heart of gold. He came around fast, damn. From uh, Magitek riding Imperial Witch to, yeah, I guess we can help her out. Although I guess it wasn't clear from his reaction if he was like upset that he was going to be helping an Imperial or if he was upset that he was going to be asked to do something dangerous and like troublesome. I guess we'll have to keep an eye out and see kind of how he reacts to figure it out. Ooh, tactical espionage action? Oh no, they already know where we are. That's a lot of goons. Yeah, it seems like maybe he was more in the just like, this is a lot of trouble camp. He's a, he's a tough guy adventurer. He doesn't judge, but he doesn't like exerting himself. Ghouls. That's not a lot of information, so... Oh, this is like a little RTS minigame. Well, I'm glad I asked, because I definitely would not have guessed that based on... You'll fight, like, use us to save, uh... Save Terra. 
I mean, I'm guessing everybody just gets a, a fork in the road, right? And then they just like auto battle or that's this work. Okay, so we do fight. Quite sure what else going on here. Oh we got like a, a freaking goon squad of moobles out here. Kuton, coupon. Log name start, huh? It's party time. Master your new dance. Thank goodness. I was worried that my uh, my dance master was not gonna keep up. Dang it! I don't really give you a ton of time, but I guess it's locking the Moogles to hold things down. Kupek. Oh. It's had a lot of fun naming these guys, huh? Hey, we, how dare you? Oh my gosh, like a strong enemy too. Good gravy. We got Moogles with spears, Moogles with claws. Moogles all over the equipment spectrum. But yeah, if I've got one one Moogle unit and uh, block to hold down part of this, then I can just have this last Moogle be the the last line of defense. I mean, we already have a choke point though, right? Like, you can't just fight these guys straight up. I'm not sure what's the, uh, the missing part of the puzzle here. I think the Moogles might be stronger than Locke. Feels bad, man. Get outpaced by little fuzzballs. Sometimes it do be like that. Yeah, I guess there's like only three, three little places where I can go. No, I mean this is already like an interesting mini game that they just throw in right off the bat. They're just like, yo, check out this, check out this technology. Mammoths, can you knock it off, my dudes? I guess I just gotta crit on that one. The moves in so hot. But there's just a lot of them, so they, have, they all have a chance to do well because you get to swing a lot. If you roll enough, chances are you will crit. It's just science, baby. It's the last one. Bring us home, Locke. Assassinate the mammoth. Don't let it do the thing. Oh, he does suck him better than we're getting kind of cooked. I do appreciate, though, having a, a thief in your party the entire game so you can uh, just get to work stealing everything. Everything is not nailed down, basically. Did I leave a. I did leave a thing empty. Whoa. I didn't plug the hole. I had one job. Boss. Oh, the actual boss music. I think these wolves got tusks. Doesn't seem right. Smack. Can't tell what all weapons these wolves are using. Oh, it's like a stop. It's not just a slow. That net is. Business. Do we 
just have to send multiple waves of Moogles at him. Whatever it takes. I want game over us if we lose the squad. I'd be surprised if they expect us to do it with one of the sub squads, but maybe they do. Oh, it just puts us back at Terra. Oh, I'm guessing it's supposed to like cost you tempo if you uh, if you like lose a fight to one of the minions, and then you have to like go intercept it really fast before it can get to Terra. Okay, so we do start. Oh, we start at one. That doesn't seem great. not notice that particular uh, piece of the puzzle. I guess I probably do need to switch to a healthier crew then and then heal them up. I mean, charge seems like it's just going to eat people for breakfast, kind of no matter how we slice it. We don't really have like a good way to heal up as far as I know. No skills. We have no skills. Skillless. Relatable. The magic heals Bedman. I guess I can see because Mog is in the other party, and I think he's a real person. So maybe his, maybe his dancing skills can help us out. Dance the dance of life, Mog. I don't know what Dusk Requiem is, but it doesn't look like it heals us. Well, he's got some giant HP pools. What is going on? His whole squad is stacked. Alright. Get him, Mog. I believe in you. Send in the homies. What does square button do? Oh, it switches. I was like, wait a second. I pushed square and things happened. Curious mog. Yeah, I guess lock is kind of a combat liability, to be honest. So getting mog out in front is uh, probably the plan. I guess net on turn one was also probably a. Uh, a bit of a blowout for us. It looks like it doesn't have to be that way. Yeah, we just uh, had an unfortunate inning that time. That's pretty funny. Just got handled by this guy the first time around. I guess the second time when I didn't realize that I respawned on 1 HP. Whoops! Okay, okay. Maybe I'll save after I get to the next little area. I don't know how long it takes me to get to, to safety. Or to um, wherever he said to take her. Never be indebted to a Moogle. It's a big mistake. I'm hauling ass out here. Look at this kneeling animation. Holy moly, the sprite work is unreal. Let's turn the lights out. Oh no. Open to switch. Locke's not kidding, he really did nothing. <laughs> Moogles really did a uh, work here. Oh, the classic amnesia protagonist. <laughs> Question marks? Damn, Locke's suddenly chivalrous.
Oh, blinking is cool too. Did he just like point at her? She's like, hey. She was like, I don't know what you're talking about. And he's like, I'm talking to the player. Don't worry about it. I'm immediately going back in here. Hell yeah. Teach me, Hall of Novices. So I'd heard, uh, I think I read on like Wikipedia or something that Six was actually in development. Or, no, it was the other way. I think uh, four, somehow four and five got sort of like flip flopped basically in how they released. So like, I think Final Fantasy V, uh, which like makes sense because Final Fantasy V is so much closer to three and four and six are so close to each other. Um, that it kind of does make sense that they would have they'd gotten mixed up kind of like that. Um, because yeah, things like the Hall of the Novice are obviously like that was in four, but not in five, which seemed kind of weird. Maybe there was something like uh, like that in five, you know, just a long time ago, and I forgot. But I feel like it was not a thing. Oh wait, do they have the same typo in here? Let me look. Uh. Yeah, had to be found. Okay, so they just copy pasted this. Yep. Menu controls. Tincture. Oh, so maybe this is how they kind of got like a vestige of some of the job system in by having relics be a thing. Oh yeah, it adds commands to your, your job list. Interesting. Okay, so there's there's some interesting like build capabilities within here. Oh, this is like a tutorial fight. It's pretty cool. Lubu. Oh, I should have tried to steal from it. Infinite whatever that you can steal from these things. Oh yeah, can I put Terra in the back room? I feel like I probably do not want her to be chilling out there. Yeah, sometimes extremely powerful monsters lurk in treasure chests, dude. I found that out the hard way. Just scooting. Look at these menu transitions. The UI team is going nuts out here. UI is extremely on point. Holy smokes. I wonder why he's not telling me this. Oh, it's because they're also putting the, the thing on me. Nice. So they're showing me protect and then shell. Yeah, he's okay. So this is all the same as in uh, what do you call it? Um, as in five. Although I think I don't think that they had a special thing for stop in five. Oh, L one and R one is how you multi-target in this game. I see. Oh, and you can pass by with it's with triangle and square though, not circle. Okay. And then yeah, L1 and R1 still is the, the flee command. Flee that guy, yeah. Put people in the back row. Smart, smart, smart. What's this guy talking about? The wanderer. Not oh, damage and healing, sure. I mean, these are the things like that feel obvious uh, if you've been playing the franchise for a long time, but it's still good to clarify and have down somewhere of like, you know, so this stuff actually works. I already, I already talked to this guy. I was wondering if he was going to tell me more like, oh, this is the room of people who know about battle. What? 
I will decide how much text I want to read. Oh, interesting. What is psych? I mean, muddled, I'm guessing, is silence. Uh, healing hurts the undead, very nice. Even if status is affected. Oh, I guess it's like re raise or something. Oh, that's probably like special commands that some people have. Oh, so Reflect finally gets a duration. The balance pass is coming through. Yo, the patch. Freeway attack. Oh, like Delta attack or something, I'm guessing. Oh yeah, the Mirage. Mirage Vest effect, AK. Oh yeah, and you can you can beat reflect by hitting your own reflect first. What? Near fatal status. Oh, it's like limit break if you're on low HP is what they're saying. You have a chance to, to limit break, basically. Yes, yeah, so this looks like it's it's trying to teach you about some of the character skills that you get later on so that's probably where they're like come back later because it's just like this is all about to, or primarily about characters who you don't have access to yet so don't worry about it let's see if we can get to the the next town i guess and then oh we got the world map at the bottom right we are really like approaching modernity with this game or i guess like not modernity but like i guess six is feeling a lot more like it kind of belongs in the same um, what is it? The same generation, I guess, as the PlayStation games. Like, this feels closer to 7, I feel like, than it does to 5. Which is kind of unexpected given the, uh, like, that they came out on different platforms, but, like, it's just, it's how it feels, man. Can't deny it. Right, we gotta start. The heist. The heist must begin. Tonics? Worth, worth, worth. I like that he like, jumps on top of him. Yoink. I mean, I'm getting 50 HP from each steal. So even if I'm taking, like, 30 HP total. Doesn't seem that bad. Ooh. I'll be back. I won't forget this. This indignity. I wish they told us where to go for this town. Steal everything tactic is becoming less worth. But you know, if I stop now, I'll just be admitting defeat. Hell yeah. It wasn't worth it. The classic stealing experience. Fail to steal for like five turns, then it turns out that their item was junk anyway. Extremely relatable. Oh yeah, I didn't realize that Terra had black and white magic. That's pretty slug. that two for one power.
Not sure if I was supposed to like stick around and shop in that town. It felt like I was supposed to just like peace out. It's the right place. Figure yeah, okay, this is yeah, this is where it told me to go. Okay, okay. So I'll save and then I'll pick up here next time. Oh, this is um the prince, right? I I feel like it's not Edward, because I know Edward is in four, but a like pretty boy prince in the desert just really is way too similar. So I feel like in my brain he's gonna be Edward for a long time. Um His real name is something weird too. I forget what it is. Um, Sabin's brother. Um, something or other. Oh, I don't know if someone in chat. Whoops. I don't know where is. I mean, I think the Thief Club just makes it easier to steal. To address a question that was asked 20 minutes ago. Anyway, I'm gonna save and then uh, that's, that's all she wrote. We'll, uh, we'll get started in earnest next time, but this is fun. Oh, I forgot to record this, I just realized. Dang it. I'm gonna have to download the VOD off Twitch. That's a pain in the ass, but that's what I get.